Okay, I, I didn't know we were live. Hi, everybody. I'm Sandy Sandler, and I'm the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker, world's easiest way to make a hand tied bow, but the tool makes it super simple. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to start with a headband, make some ribbon flowers, and we're going to do hair bows and some cheer bows. So, we're going to have a lot of fun. So, I'm going to start with my mini Bodabra. And Adley's um, filming today, so she's going to interrupt me and let me know who set comes on and who says hi. So I'm going to fold this in half, cut my oh, wire. I commented a heart. A hearts? Yeah. Cool. I love it. Now, who did that? Gail. Gail. Hi, Gail. Hope you're doing great. So I'm going to fold all this, um, tuck it all under. Now, like I did in my preview, I'm gonna take, um, let's see, how much tool? This is about, uh, I think it's a six inch, yeah, it's a six inch wide tool, and it is uh, 13 yards, 13 yards, 13 inches long. Gail said hi, Sandy. Hi, Gail. So now we're gonna just scrunch this down in here. And also, you guys, please share with anybody you know that might be looking for a way to make ribbon flowers or hair bows. Now, I had Deb came and asked me um, on Facebook how to make a, um, a bow for a baby shower. So I thought, wouldn't it be really cute, because it's a girl that she needs to make it for, if we made a headband and the headband can then go around the package. So that's what... I, when I designed this bow, that's what I was thinking about. So I'm just going to lay this down in here. Oh, and just in case, I know you guys are going to ask me, the petals are about four inches long and they're wired ribbon. It's a one inch wide ribbon. So now, and I believe these are four, they're, it's about four and a half inches long once you cut the points and these are rounded. So and let's scrunch this down in here. But I just thought this would be a really cute idea for a baby shower bow because everybody with little girls, they love to take pictures with beautiful, um, with beautiful headband with big flowers and bows. So this makes a gift and a bow. So I'm gonna pull this through my slip knot, which is why I fold my wire in half to begin with. And I'm just gonna pull it really tight, pull it out. I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm gonna tie a knot and tie another knot. And then what I'm gonna do is shape this. So I'm going to just kind of, because it's wired, I can push up the petals and the leaves and shape this here, and then I'm gonna kind of shape my petals out. So what's cool about these flowers is you can really make, and my designers helped me figure this out, that you can really make pretty much any kind of flower. You just have to change the color and the petals to match the flower, be it a magnolia or a rose. So it's really cool how you can make these and so super fast. So now I'm gonna take my headband and what I do is, I, this is the seam here. So I go on one side of the seam and, <clears throat> excuse me, I seem to be losing my voice today. Terry said I love the flowers. Thank you, Terry, I do too. I was so excited when I learned how to make them and now you can't stop me. <laughs> so now I'm going to pull that back through here because I want this to be tied. I think Vivi is trying to tell me something. Yeah, you guys, Vivi's joining us today. So now I'm just going to tie this tight here. And Gail said XOXO. Thank you, Gail. Is that an XOXO for Viv? I hope she quiets down. I think she might be in a boisterous mood today. So now... You have this really pretty headband, and as you see, I wanted nothing against the little girl's head. And this can go right around a package as the bow. So it works perfectly for a baby shower or for a gift for a little girl. So Vivi is gonna keep talking, I think. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure her out today. 
So she just, you know, has a mind of her own. You want to show Vivi over there, like, if we can get this to go around the way we want it to? There, it's not going to turn. Oh, okay, we're trying to turn towards Vivi. There you go. You guys see Viv? She's joining in today. So now what I'm going to do is I've got my Bodabra bow wire, and we're just going to make a little simple, could be a chair bow or hair bow for fall. I'm going to tuck the ends underneath. And thank again, you guys, I'm Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to cut, <clears throat> cut and- Crystal said yay all better. Okay, thank you, Crystal. I know, you know, stuff happens when you're live. So now I'm folding this again and I'm dovetailing, oops, dovetailing. So I'm just gonna cut it from the corner out. So you got these nice little, ends here. Anne said hello. Hi Anne. And um, now I'm gonna just measure, let's see, so these are about 14 inches and I'm gonna put them in together. So I'm just gonna fold, whoops, I'm gonna make them so they're the same. I'm gonna fold them in half and I'm gonna scrunch this down into my bodabra because I want everybody to know that you can make hair bows with the regular bodabra and or the mini bodabra. So what I'm going to do here, I have, let's see, and this is a one, this is a one and a half inch wide. I have two one and a half inch wide ribbons and Diana they are, said hi. I'm sorry, who said hi? Diana. Hi, Diana. And these are, this is 30 inches of ribbon. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna find the center of my ribbon by just folding it in half and trying to keep the ends all together. And so this is exactly how we make a boutique bow or a pinwheel bow in a boutique bow in the mini bodabra. So I'm gonna put this in upside down and now what I'm gonna do, I know we're just waiting for Vivi. I think she's decided she's gonna lay down now. So um, we're just gonna put that down here and I'm gonna leave this the way it is. I'm gonna take the other piece of ribbon and I'm gonna bring this. So this is great, a great technique if you wanna make, um, what am I doing here? If you wanna make a bow with no tails. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making an X. So now I'm going to pull this over here and again, I'm going to put this upside down. So now I'm going to take my first ribbon and scrunch that down oh, and take the second loops and scrunch those down. And now I have my bow almost complete. Um, I just need to find what I did. Okay, grab a wand from another Bodabra and scrunch down here. So I hope everybody had a great weekend and I hope you guys will share this video with everybody. Um, let your friends know if they're interested in making hair bows. So now I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And what I love about this wire is I just go and tie a knot and double knot it. And now what I can do is take my um, ponytail holder, or you could tie it onto a barrette, but I think this is a pretty big bow for a barrette. And the hair bows are totally in. The Emmys, they were wearing like big hair bows that now you guys can make all by yourself super simply in the Bodabra. So now I'm just gonna shape, and I used a wire ribbon, so this will shape up really pretty. Darlene said watching. Hi Darlene, I'm glad you're watching. Thank you for joining me. I love it how you guys watch and share and comment. It just means a lot to me. And so many of you have been commenting and sharing. So let me know what you think. Gail said XOXO. Oh great, thank you Gail. It's so super simple. So now I'm gonna put this one aside and we have a fun little take on a cheer bow. Gail said pretty. Thank you, Gail. And so now I'm going back to my mini bodabra. Now I could use my hair bow tool to measure, 
but you don't have to. Um, the mini, you can do these bows in the mini without a, a measurer. Um, so what I've got here is I'm starting, I'm gonna do my tails first. Darlene said beautiful. Thank you, Darlene. And now I have 16 inches of, this one is a satin, oops, and it's a half an inch, and this one is about five eighths of an inch. So all I'm doing here, this is gonna be my tail, and I guess it would help if I put my wire in first. So take my bow dabber bow wire, fold it in half, and lay this down into the bow dabber. And now, oh, also everybody, um, I'm gonna find my center and lay this down, the two together in my mini bow dabber. And also you guys, we're gonna have some, I'm gonna be doing fall decorating and Halloween next week. And we're gonna have some really, really cool specials that we're gonna be running next week. And also, I am going to have a giveaway. So make sure you tell everybody to watch next week to see what we're gonna be doing. Um, the specials and the giveaway, it's gonna be really cool. So now I'm gonna find the center and go right down here in the middle. Now did I tell you guys how long that was? I think I just did, didn't I? So it's 19, 20 inches long. So now I'm gonna fold this back over and we're gonna do the same thing we did in the big bow dabra. We're going to make an X and tuck this. So if you don't want tails on your bow and you just want a simple boutique bow, you can do it this way. Um, and push this down in here. And now I'm gonna take my bottom and throw that in here and take the top one and put this right down in here, I think. There, I wanna center it so it just makes it a little prettier. And then I have these little corker ribbons and I think we've got Terry um, putting in, she'll put the link in as to where I get the corker ribbons pre-made. Um, they come, let me see if I have a bag of them. You can get them, they come like pre-made in um, all these different colors. So it's really, it's the easy way to make um, corker, to make corker so you don't have to sit there and um, and now I'm just going to put this little pretty crystal in here so you don't have to sit there and curl it all yourself and bake it and everything else that people do for their corker. I'm, I'm lazy, so I like to do it the easy way. So now, and I just thought these colors were so pretty for fall. I'm just going to pull that together, take it out. I'm going to separate the ends, bring them around to the back. I am not. And I think this would be a pretty, because I made the tail so long, I think this becomes a really pretty um, ponytail holder. So let me fix all this out for you. And just take your wire and tie it onto your ponytail holder and you've got a cute, really cute, super simple bow. Whoops, I guess it would help if I showed you the front of the bow. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that. And now we are going to go on to another bow. Let's see what I have in my little goodie bag. Oh, this is fun. Um, I thought it would be really fun to do a real super simple scrunch bow. I'm going to do this one in a regular bow dabra. Again, this makes a cute ponytail holder. Were you going to say something? Crystal said so pretty. Thank you, Crystal. And again, Crystal, thank you so much because you always share. And that means a lot to me. And all you guys that share with your friends, it, I really appreciate it. And I try to get back to you um, with for any of your comments. If you're watching me on the replay, please let me know. And I'll definitely, you know, say hi and let me know what you would like me to make on our lives. Darlene said very pretty. Thank you, Darlene. So now we're gonna just throw this down in here. So this is just our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. And I just thought it would be really pretty between the tool. 
makes a really qu super quick, super simple hair bow. And then again, I'm taking my pre-made corker ribbon, laying that down in here. Now, I'll take one more pink, hot pink. Shirley said, hey, everyone. Hi, Shirley. So please, you guys, remember to tell all your friends that next week we're doing fall decor. We're going to do some fun Halloween stuff, too. Crystal said sharing is caring, and we love Bo Dapper. Thank you, Crystal. Sharing is caring, and I really appreciate it so much. So now... I'm just going to tie a knot, whoops, and double knot that, and again, I'm just going to tie this, if I can find my wire, I'm going to tie this onto my ponytail holder. So these are, it's just, these are so quick and simple that you can make a different bow for like every one of your little girl's outfits. Um, and let's just kind of puff all of this out, Ooh, clip that little piece there. And isn't that just like fun and super, super simple to make? So let me know what you think. I would also let me know where you guys are watching from. And is this your first time watching? Last week we had so many first time people. It was so cool. So hopefully you guys are back again this week. And let me know where you're watching from and if you're watching live or you're watching in the replay. Because that I always love to know and then I can respond back to you. Crystal said those are really fun. Thank you. I thought they were really fun. Um, so now... Let's see what else we... Oh, here's another one. Okay. Shirley said, you said it, Sandy. I've made so many of these and I cannot stop. <laughs> and Shirley's been sharing a lot in our Bodabra fan gallery, which is so cool, you guys. Because the people that have been sharing in there, oh my gosh, you get such great ideas. Um, Paula said, first time live watching from Florida. Oh, hi, Paula. Awesome. Thank you for watching. And then Karen said, um, watching, I know it's... watching live for the first time from Ohio. Oh, wow. Thanks, Karen. I'm glad you joined me. And then Monique said, so cute. First time visiting, watching live, Albany, New York here. Awesome, you guys. Thank you for coming in and commenting. It means a lot to me when you do. And then Darlene said, yeah, I got a granddaughter on the way and this will be great to do. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're going to have ton. Your, your granddaughter, you're going to have to go in our Bow Deborah family gallery and share pictures of the bows you make. And like, we'd love to see pictures of them on your granddaughter. So. And Wanda said, first time watching from Ohio. Oh wow, we've got lots of people from Ohio today. And then Catherine said, first time watching from Texas. Well, Catherine and everybody, thank you so much for watching and thank you for chiming in. I really appreciate it. So now I'm going to start my next bow which is, this is a really kind of a pretty um, little bow. So I've got nine inches, but I've already dovetailed the ends. So I'm just gonna fold this in half and lay this down into my mini Vodabra. And then what I'm gonna do is I have, how much ribbon do we have here? Um, 11 inches. So I'm just gonna start with the wrong side down. I'm gonna bring this back around here Oh, and this is... Darlene said, watching my second time from Bog Ground, Georgia. Oh, okay. Where's that, Darlene? Where's Bog... Is it Bog Ground, Georgia? Uh, yeah. And so now I'm just going to go to the center and push that. And then here I have... Let's see. What do we have here? I've got 15 inches of a two and a half inch wide ribbon. And it's wired. And I'm just going to scrunch this down into my mini Bodabra. Janine said, hi, Sandy. Hi, Janine. Thank you for watching. And then Catherine said, in Wichita Falls, Texas. Wow. Now, see, the thing, my, oops, got a lot of ribbon in there, so I'm just going to push that down. Now what I'm going to do is kind of fold up my, my wire from my flower here, and I'm going to lay these down because that will give weight and hold that ribbon down in there. Darlene said it's 20 miles from Atlanta. Oh, okay. 
I grew up in, I was born in Atlanta actually. So now we'll push this down here and add one more there. And then I'm gonna take my wand and just scrunch it all down in here. So this makes a really pretty little ponytail holder. So darling, your, your little granddaughter is gonna have bows till she won't wear them anymore. So now, because these are gonna take her through every age, and we're gonna come back. And also guys, we have the Bodabra app that's available in your app store. It's free. You can get it at iTunes, you can get it at Google Play. And um, we have all, we do replays of all of our Facebook Lives. Oh, whoops, I need to tie that on to, well, I don't have a ponytail holder right here to tie it on to, but we're just gonna pretend that we tied it onto a ponytail holder or a barrette. And we're just gonna shape this and whoops and there you have a really cute little ponytail bow and actually if you didn't put the tails on it it would be a really pretty barrette as well so now I am going to put this aside and let's see what else I have in my little magic Shirley said pretty. Thank you, Shirley. Janine said my Bodabra app won't work. It won't work? Oh, what, are you using it on an i um, on an iOS device or an Android? And Crystal said I like the color combination too. Thank you, Crystal. Yeah, I like this. I bet Gail likes this with the purple because Gail's my purple girl. So put that aside, grab my Bodabra bow wire clip it and fold this in half and then this is just going to be a really simple fall bow janine said it's an iphone yeah i'm not sure janine what's i don't you'll have to write to me and let me know what's not working on it um and then i'll report it because it should be working so it's seven inches by one and a half inches i'm just going to find the center and put that down in here do the same here with this one and now I have oh I forgot to see how long this is again it's a one and a half inch wide ribbon and this 13 I'm using 13 inches of ribbon so I'm gonna put this one on top and I'm gonna just now put the end in here Darlene asked can you use any kind of wire um, you can. I prefer our wire. I'm a little partial to it because the reason that I like the Bodabra wire is it's really thin. It's really like malleable and it's really, really strong because what's cool about it, let me pull it apart for you if you can see this. There's a little wire where if we had just the wire, it would break. So to give it strength, we have the nylon. So that makes it really easy to use, but gives it the strength of a wire, of a strength of a cord with the malleability of a wire. So I'm just going to now, here in the middle, I'm just going to do a little, we call it a mountain up crease right in the center, and then Wanda scrunch it. to make bows in the early 90s. I'm sorry, who used to make bows in the world? Wanda. Oh, Wanda, did you make them for uh, like for a business or? And then now I'm gonna pull this out, bring it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back and just tie it off and tie a knot. And now I'm just going to shape it. So have you guys all started? I know people in our Bodabra fan gallery have definitely started decorating for um, fall because I've seen pictures of their beautiful wreaths and projects. So here's a, just a simple, you can tie it onto a, um, a barrette or anything. So let me know what you guys think. Wanda said family and friends to the making bows. Oh, got ya. So now with Bodabra, you'll probably be making even more. <laughs> 
So I'm going to take this aside and oh my gosh, the time went by. You know what? I'm going to go make one more really fun bow that I thought about today, especially when Darlene told me that she was having a bet. Well, I didn't know it was her grandbaby, but that there was a baby shower. So I'm going to Ashley take... Ashley said very cute. Thank you, Ashley. Janine said so cute. Thank you. So now I'm going to just take my Bodabra bow wire, lay it down into my regular Bodabra. And what she did, and already tied these, but this is basically a, um, a five inch wide tool, all of these are, and it's around 14 inches. And then all we did was just knot the ends. So I've got just different colors and I'm just gonna lay the centers down in here, to kind of mix and match. And it makes just a really super, like simple, but adorable little um, little girl's um, headband. Darlene said, not yet. I'll have to get me a bigger Bodabra. <laughs> so, and then now what am I gonna do? I think I'm totally going off, off what I was planning on doing. But I think this would look really pretty with a flower. So I'm gonna grab my flower, my petals. I'm gonna lay one in here. Just, you know, when you see these little babies in the oversized, with their um, oversized headbands with these huge bows on them, that's what I think about when I make this or for the toddlers. So I'm just gonna take this and put that there. Take another one and put it here. Oops. And this is not a wired ribbon, so it's a little harder to shape my flower. So I'm just gonna grab these little pieces here, put them in the middle. And I could even do something silly, like um, put a little corker in the center there. Whoops, I need the big Bodabra wand. Scrunch this down. And we are going a tad over today because we had a little snafu. So if you signed in late, oh, so now I'm pulling it through my slip knot and I'm pulling it tight, but it's still in the Bodabra, taking it out, bringing this around to the back. I'm going to tie a knot. So anyway, if you tuned in late, there was a first part to this video, but then we went all goofy or the, the um, gimbal, the device that we used to hold the camera. And so we had to kind of start over again. So there was a little part of the video that you'll have to double check for. Um, and please, next week, we're gonna have some really cool Bodabra specials. And I'm going to do a giveaway for somebody who's watching. So now I don't have an extra headband, but let's just pretend and you could tie it on the headband. And wouldn't that be like so cute on a little girl? So let me know what you think. It's just so much fun for me to do it like this. So anyway, I want to thank you guys again for Gail joining. Gail said very whimsy and cute. Thank you, Gail. I know, isn't it? It's kind of fun. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for my regulars. Oh, you guys, I am so grateful. I'm grateful for your comments. I'm grateful for your shares. Janine said very, super cute. Thank you, Janine. And um, so anyway, you guys, please join me next week. We're going to do fall and Halloween decor. And like I said, we're going to have some specials and we're going to do a cool Stacey giveaway. Stacy said love it. Thank and you, Stacy. Shirley said cool. Thank you, Sh Shirley. I know. Darlan said it would be adorable. I know. And I have to, you're going to make this, Darlan, and you're going to send me a picture with it on your little, your new baby or new grandbaby. So anyway, you guys, thanks again. And if you are watching the replay, please make sure you say hi, say you saw the replay. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys next week on my Facebook Live. Okay, bye.